Hey guys, today I'm going to be installing the 671 blower on my jet boat. Now I've purchased this rectangle port intake and I'm going to be putting it on a set of oval port heads which some people probably would find controversial but according to the manufacturer of the manifold you can do that you just have to use a Felpro 1251 gasket so I've bought a set of those and trimmed them to fit so we're going to try it and see how it goes I've watched some YouTube videos where people did dyno tests on putting square port manifolds on oval port heads and on a naturally aspirated engine they've seen like 20 horsepower peak loss so I've never seen anybody do it with a blower motor and test back and forth but I'm not actually drag racing this thing it's more just for fun so if it loses a little bit of power it's not really a big deal I bolted these gaskets on here so that I could trim them to fit the gaskets kind of exaggerate the height of the rectangle port because if you stick an oval port gasket on a rectangle port intake it doesn't look nowhere near that different so I think these gaskets just kind of exaggerated a bit but they should seal up and work fine alright guys got the gaskets put on here got silicone on the china walls should be ready to put the intake on Before I put the blower on here and make it as hard to put on, I'm going to remove this plug and put a fitting in for my boost reference line. Now I need to modify my carburetors so that I can boost reference the power valves. There's two different ways you can do this. You can drill a hole through the side of the main body and press a tube in there and then block the original hole that feeds the power valve. Or you can modify the base plate. You plug off two holes, grind a slot across them, and then you can use this port on the side of your metering block. I think that's the route I'm going to go with because I don't have any tube that I could press into the side of the main body and I've had them before and they wiggle around and don't come out and that was straight from the factory so I'm gonna go with this route and uh, I think that'll work out better for me to start off here I've removed this tiny little c-clip that holds that secondary arm on then I'm gonna remove the rest of the base plate screws
And what I'm going to do to modify this base plate is I'm going to knock out this power valve check valve and then I'm going to fill this with JB Weld. I'm going to fill this hole here with JB Weld and there is a small port here that will have to be blocked off. So I'll zip tie these throttle blades open, put a piece of tape over that so the JB Weld doesn't come through and leak down into the throttle bore. And on the bottom there's a hole that goes all the way through. I'll have to put a piece of tape over that too until the JB Weld sets up. Then after that you'll just take and grind a slot across between these two holes to connect them. Now all that was in there that got knocked out is that check ball and that little brass ring. So I'll remove those. Don't need them anymore. Now I've zip tied the throttle blades open and I have put some tape over this small port right here right next to this port. And on the bottom side there's a small hole right here and I've plugged that with tape. Now it's time to put some JB Weld in these holes, fill them up. Now an easy way to remove the excess is just gently take a razor scraper and just go right over the top of it. Now I have one base plate finished. I'm going to modify the second one just like this one. Put them back together. Should be good to go. Next order of business, I got to get this V-belt pulley off, get the new aluminum V-belt pulley put on and the blower drive pulley. I got the two bottom drive pulleys on and I put the belt on and looked at the belt alignment. It looks like the alternator is going to have to come back maybe about an eighth of an inch. Of course, you buy stuff and it never fits exactly the way the old stuff did. You always have to change stuff. It's going to be in the way of the other carburetor since these are an inch closer together. Awesome. I'm going to have to cut the bracket.
guess my next step is I'm going to have to cut down the throttle linkage that goes between both carburetors. So I got to make sure to cut the right side because one of these is left hand thread and I don't have left hand taps. Got all my fuel lines hooked up, it's time to check to see if it will pressurize up and check for leaks.
Alright guys, got it all together. Let's see what happens.